Hey there, I'm William Booth and I started the Salvation Army in a tent that we set up in an old cemetery that wasn't being used anymore. When I wasn't preaching in our tent, I was in a shop where I helped poor people. We started to feed the hungry and help the sick people. And we also started teaching some of them how to read. And while there were people hungry and men in pain and women who were crying in the dark, I thought that I'd better fight for them. Hey, that could make a good song. Well anyway, this was all back in 1865 in the east end of London. Ah, here comes my wife Catherine. Isn't she a cutie? Anyway, she used to help me with the poor people, so she became known as the mother of the Salvation Army. In fact, women are very important in the Salvation Army, as many of my best workers are women. After a couple of years, I think it was back in 1878, I started to send people all around the world to start the Salvation Army. Catherine? Thanks, William. Here is John Gore and Edward Saunders. These guys started the Salvation Army in Australia on the 5th of September 1880. They stood on the back of a greengrocer's cart under a gum tree in Adelaide. They preached their little hearts out and helped heaps of people. We now have over 300 churches in Australia, as well as heaps and heaps of places where people can get help with food and clothes. Back to you, dear. Now, the world leaders are pretty important. And because I started it, I was the first world leader. And since my turn, there have only been two world leaders that have been Australians. One was a guy named George Carpenter, and the other was a great woman named Eva Burrows. Both of them had to move to London, because that's where the head office is. Well, there you go. That's a little bit of my story and how the Salvation Army was started.